I think when we talk about the sanctuary, um, let's talk about some of the core pieces of what it is. So we talked about, okay, the body, mind, soul, spirit, sort of the bones of the foundation. Uh, let's talk about the soul of the sanctuary. And I can tell you that the sanctuary, first of all, is on the cutting edge when we talk about brain mapping and brain science and epigenetics and neuroplasticity and all that's going on and we're right in the mix of that and actually we are connected to and endorsed by some of the leading professionals in those fields so scientifically we're sound but then on a whole nother level there's a layer that happens here that is so magical and you know what that's what we need is miracle you know we need a little magic and when we think about magic and people might, whether you've ever fallen in love or not in your life, people have heard about it. And when that happens, all of a sudden there's magic in the day. And that's what happens here every single day. And miracles happen. And if a miracle can happen to me, I can tell you in my whole journey, if I could get well and do what I'm doing and I did it, I can tell you that you can do it too. Because what we do is help make it accessible to everybody. And that's the miracle. So we don't uh, hope for a miracle, we expect them. That doesn't mean we take them for granted or we're nonchalant about anything. Um, we've just seen them and the people coming here need that. They need a miracle. And we can interchange the word miracle with spiritual awakening to go back to that 12 step where Bill Wilson was going. You know, that all of a sudden something can be different and markedly different and we connect to that place in ourselves that we never knew was there and we operate from that place and we then have possibilities in our lives that we never even dreamed of and we're heading in a direction that we never even imagined before and we feel great and it becomes sustainable. That's what is so important about this whole model. This is about creating sustainable change in our lives and when something is sustainable that means we can do it. It's attainable, it's sustainable, and it will be guiding us from now on. And that's the magic in the sanctuary.